Well, I can go around the outside here, can I? Get ready. Get yeah, green. but I'm sticking it right on the wall. The pace car is in. If you can find a gap there, then you're a Brazilian. Green flag, green flag. Outside. Clear outside. Outside. Clear inside. Clear inside. Outside. Clear outside. Car outside. Clear. Car inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Only the five places so far this lap. The next one's the hardest one though. Inside. Sorry, hot after it's gonna be the hardest. Still there. I want to add that can. I'm not being funny, mate. <laughs> you haven't fully made it yet, you've got to get around this corner. You're in the top ten. Right, I'm done. I can't go anymore. Now you've made it. Stay low. Keep low. Clear. Have you got enough fuel, though, Rich? I think I'll just make it. For a cigarette. I'll wait in case Rachel calls me in for that. Outside. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. and the cars didn't turn. It's the wheel that turns the car. Ah, that's it. That's what I'm going wrong with these years. It's the man that turns the wheel that turns the car. I have sufficiently done enough wreck, to wreck. die with a soft. Sorry about that. The yellow flag is out. Line up single file. Bit road is closed. At least I managed to have two crashes without causing the caution. I'm rather happy with that charge. You're driving a Lotus, mate. Only one you can handle in five minute jump. Fucking easy, peak. What's he say? He called All the fun shit. you can handle in five minute chunks. That's optimistic. I spun it on the yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Car is properly fucked. Catch the baby car. This is fucking dire. I'm gonna go a lap down. You'll see me as you come round, so I'm fucking crabbing like it's going out. <laughs> Checking up on the back stretch. Rocky moved to live room by Rakia. Oh, cool, <laughs> He's been called to the headmaster's office. Drifting. I think Rob just crashed it. 
when I was smoking it was fine, you could always have a cigarette in between. Well, I'm probably not going to make an edit for all of this race, seeing as there's the broadcast, but that last intercaution period is definitely getting highlighted. That was ace. The pit road is now open. Everyone seemed to go super cautious and I just shot Just cut out some of the uh, some of the comments that are being made. <laughs> Rob V moved in from live room by Raquel. Been told off, Rob. We were moved to live room by Raquel. Rich, hi. Uh, Hello. I'm on Fitness TV. Sorry for dragging you out there, but uh, couldn't uh, hear you talking. How's the race been going so far? Uh, we've both lost count of what caution this is. Can you help us? Oh, God. Uh, eight, nine, I guess? Something like that? Maybe more. Well, with an hour and 24 minutes of the race elapsed and only 47 laps uh, completed. Luke Ridgway, previously in an interview, has said he estimates we'll maybe get to lap 70 or 80. What's your, what's your estimation? Yeah, about there seems about right. I mean, I expected it to be a difficult car, and I think, I think this is probably why there's such low... Well, I won't be that harsh, but there's lower participation than there probably should be in official series, because it's so different to most cars on the surf service, you know? Um, even though it's brilliant, I don't know. It seems to fit other people better than others, you know. On the subject of the uh, Lotus 49, um, I believe you were telling me previously in one of our other broadcasts that you've driven this in the official Lotus 49 series. Uh, could you tell us a bit about that series and the niche community that run it? Well, I mean, right now, uh, Ryan Williams of the Lotus 49 community is really, really, really doing lots to push it, organising events, and also, I believe this season's the first season for the Classic Championship, much like the uh, Lotus 79 has had for many seasons, just to try and get people engaged, uh, driving for Classic teams and things like that. Uh, very respectful drivers, give plenty of room. Um, yeah, it's it's... I, I personally feel it's a really, really good drive, and it's a very helpful community as well. Although unfortunately not running uh, in tonight's race. Uh, having driven the car myself, I have to agree with you, it's a certain personality to it, but maybe not, there's no car in the service at the moment, I think, that could build a driver up or prepare them for the Lotus 49. What do you think would be a good choice for our racing to add that might stand as a stepping stone from perhaps the Skip Barber as an introductory car up to this car? Because obviously something has to be in between them. I think it would have to be um, something like um, the, like a, a retro F2 car that they used to drive of the period. Um, I can only really liken it to R Factor 2 where they've got like F2 and F3 cars and they slowly build you up to taking on something like this um, because it, it's not just the car, it's the tyres, it's the way the suspension is, it's the lack of downforce and I don't really think there's much modern around which really can compare, you know? Absolutely not. Uh, I think it's, it's a very standalone car and at the moment I think we do definitely lack something in that gap. Um, it has been whistled on the wind that iRacing might be considering uh, go-karts. Do you think they might be perhaps a better entry position than perhaps a rather unbalanced Skip Barber car that requires a very smooth hand to drive it? Perhaps something less forgiving? I think um, karts um, are just a brilliant introduction at, at, altogether because... Um, they require you to be very, very precise so that you don't bog down and things like that. Lesser so in the uh, shifter carts, but definitely in the single gear ones, you need to be very consistent with your lines, your wheel inputs, your pedal inputs. Um, and on that basis, yes, there'd be a good introduction to this, but what I feel most people struggle with with this car is how much it moves beneath you and they feel like it's losing control when really... The need to allow it to make that movement because that's when the car comes alive and much m handles much better when you allow it to uh, do its thing, so to speak. Do you think that's uh, perhaps a negative side of some of the introductory cars in our racing that, like the Skip Barber, that punish you for getting the car out of shape and teach you to never get it out of shape? That when you have a car like the Lotus 49, yes, you absolutely have to get it out of shape, if you will. It, it 
teaches bad habits for such a different vehicle. Probably, but I mean, it's still in the skippy, it pays you to uh, rotate the car, for sure. Um, and to me, this is just a very exaggerated example of that. Um, but really, in the skippy, you've kind of got to be near the edge to get it to rotate in such a nice way. Whereas this will rotate uh, happily all the time. <laughs> Absolutely, that's what we've seen so far. Anyway, Richard, we'll have to let you get back One to the race, so uh, good luck with the yes. restart. You were moved to Oval by Raquel. Hello. Hello. That was a long one. I. she said. Oh, Who's asking me uh, about uh, what's a good stepping stone to the Lotus 49? And I basically said iRacing hasn't got anything that's a good stepping stone to this. I don't think there's anything in the world that is. I just said there needs something like R Factor 2 with the retro F2 car or something. I suppose, yeah, that's a good point. But nothing can prepare you for this. You've, it is its own beast, very much. You didn't mention the Lotus 69. <laughs> God. We lads. Yeah, you know, I, I was really skeptical of the effect when it first came out, but the uh, tire build-up, the, the the dirt build-up, looks quite good actually. On the actual cars. Yeah, it con like on Luke's, it contrasts really good. It's a shame it's bright pink. Oh, I had a, a decent um, truck race the other day. My in front of my KFC Silverado, word out to the sponsors, was <laughs> the build-up was massive. It was brilliant. I think mine will have been cleaned off because I had that stop. And my car's black, so it's difficult to see anyway. Well, there's a problem. You'll never see it if you keep on racing you in your pit lanes car. Change it to white carbon fiber. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Car outside. Just keep hitting your marks. Stay low, clear. Car inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Beast. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. You're in fourth position. Inside. Car outside. You're now in third. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Clear outside. 
The yellow flag is out. Line up. Single oh, I don't file. fucking believe that. Catch the 340. Saw so that one coming from a long way off. Uh, I'll stay quiet. Yeah, the problem was, I was the one that was going to be the lucky dog then, and I fucking started avoiding it. Ah. Uh. Not happy about that at all. I'm not sure whether Andy was losing it on his own there. I don't know. He was, yeah. He went wide and just lost the veer and slid down into Russell. 